Hello, I'm Justin Ryder again. Welcome back to the video blogs. Just a follow up from the little mini series we did on the um, cutworm in the lawns. As you might notice, we've done three little um, videos showing about the problems of cutworm and how to spot it in your lawn. Um, so, the first three what series was basically about what to look out for. Second one was to how to put the application down, and the third one was to actually just show you what the caterpillars come into the top, or the cutworms or the sodworms. Well, now I'm just back on location. This is two weeks after we put the first treatment down. In fact, in all, we put two treatments down. Now, although it's not 100%, but you can see since then this grass has been cut twice, and you can see down there we've got a lot more healthier grass. The whole appearance now from everything is a lot more lush, new blades growing and a little bit of thatch in there that still needs to be taken out but I've looked closely, um, all new grass is coming through so we've got this, obviously caught this in time. All the rest of the grass looks extremely healthy and it's been, like I said, it's, going to be, it's been cut twice already and I'll be needing another cut again and more importantly, no wasps, no hoopoo birds, nothing so we know we've caught it in time. I've since heard from several other people who have called me. Unfortunately, they haven't got there in time um, and they've probably lost whole sections, if not swathes of lawn, which is obviously very disappointing. But again, um, you're not comp we're not completely clear because what I've said to you before, that what we put down the product only kills the cutworm that's in there. It's a bit like you can't put the treatment down two, three months before, think that's going to, going to work. It's a bit like taking paracetamol if you haven't got a headache. Um, it's something that you have to use when you see um, the lawn to start to deteriorate. So again, what I'll probably do, I don't expect we'll get another attack now within another month, but I'll probably just keep an eye on it. And if I start to see those wasps or hooper birds, we'll put it down again. But there you go. Managed to save this one quite easily. And I expect in a couple of weeks time, this will be absolutely beautiful and as if no, no problems.